five. Oh, but I actually am going to do this. Good idea. There we are. Now we can All get right, so we can get prepared. Beward. That's right. Hey, everybody. It's our favorite day of the week. I don't know about you, but it's my favorite day of the week. Because sitting, not only is it Bead Shop Live, sitting to my left is the amazing Allie Mori. Oh She's my. here. <laughs> with the new lookbook and we're going to be on the screen momentarily while I Allie's really going to see behind the scenes now how oh, I have to scramble absolutely around okay there we are live there wow. and let's make sure that I get that Facebook can I see you guys on Facebook yet let me see I can see all of you guys yes on YouTube I see you I see you so let's make sure that Facebook. Yep, I Kim just com. Yep, I Kim just commented right. on the Facebook. So that is awesome. I see you guys there. Let me see if I can bring up the feed, and we will get you guys on in just. Sorry, I'm clicking buttons like there's no tomorrow here. I just want to make sure that I can see it. So you can look at that pretty lookbook cover, yep, there we are, that Allie made. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so great to see you. And you're going to see us in three. To have everybody here, um, I can see that uh and we can see so Ali I'm just gonna give you the tour now I that she's love behind. It. Yeah. You can see here's everybody's All comments. The comments. Uh, that's on Facebook. And then I'm gonna give you I'm gonna scoot it over actually here. So we can see all of well we can see all the comments yep. right there on Perfect. um and then here we are screen. So you guys so if any of you I wanna say if any of you guys are in the area or planning to come and you want to be with me here on the live broadcast, oh, just come. Do it. Right? It's not too do bad. It. No, not at all. Absolutely not. Hanging out with me doing this, is it so bad? Right? It's wonderful, <laughs> actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we are having a super fun day yeah. already. It is. It's been good. Yeah, it's been really fun. Sorry, I do a lot of clicking around here. Together, especially today because I'm super excited okay there we okay, go so now over here on the Facebook feed I wanted to give a shout out I love it that our friend Mary Ellen uh, she's watching us in her desk drawer oh my goodness. at work oh in secret which is great which is great so um, and you know Mary Ellen has a Facebook group and Mary Ellen if you can you can go ahead and link it in the comments it'll be great because I know that you uh, repost all of our stuff Wonderful. here that we do. Wonderful. And it's a great resource. It's um, for all of the great um, jewelry live broadcasts that go on. So, Mary Ellen, we really, really appreciate you boosting our signal. We yeah. really, really appreciate that. And as always, you guys, all of those shares, your comments, your likes, mm. especially over you guys who are the our YouTube um I want to say our, our YouTube hardcore fans over there who watch this on YouTube, hit that like button, you know, just if you like something you see. That also raises our profile, you know, yeah, in the, good to know in the um, SEO. Right, it raises um, you up, raises further us up, up the yeah, ladder. In the search engines yeah. and stuff. So we really, really appreciate all of those shares and all of that really sincere love that's out there. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a big yeah look at that i'm getting heart we're getting hearts 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 and i see that a lot of our design team is watching oh of course um <laughs> which is great we've got gita uh over oh, on perfect. our facebook feed doing moderating over there and we've got janice over on Wonderful. the youtube moderating over there so let me so those of you who have not seen all of the lookbooks i'm going to go over here you can go to beadshop.com, right? There's a screenshot of our page on our website. And can you see at the top of the picture where it says shop and new arrivals and sale, right? We keep live broadcasts, which 
we're on now. If you go under projects, all right, and you do that pull down there, see at the very bottom how it says lookbook collection? Well, if you not all of the lookbooks come up. So not only the one that we're doing today, which is following your daydreams, but the creative journey, the one from the summer that the design team did, the warm up that you guys did. Um, I think it was the, the we did a tassel one tassel, where some right. people on the bead table. Yes, we had contributors. Contributors, which was mm -hmm. amazing. And uh, then we kind of had this warm up mm -hmm. when I sent out those kits for you guys to yeah, work with. Yeah, a little kit project. Yeah. So everything up at the top is a design team lookbook. And then, you guys, if you haven't seen this or if you haven't watched the episode, you guys, this year of monthly mix wrap bracelets ally you it was that was fun it's nuts <laughs> fun. is what it was so ally took i think it was the monthly mixes from 2008 no 2018 what did, who right. are you who are you people 18, and what year is it 2018 yeah, yeah. and made a wrap bracelet with every month For each and month. so yeah it was really incredible so mm -hmm. if you haven't looked at that totally inspiring and some of those wrap bracelets all of them are epic, but they're really, really incredible. And then we have some that we've done um, here at Bead Shop, the Born Yesterday, oh, those are all good the too. Make It Challenge, and then this Autumn Lookbook. So there's a whole bunch of um, of ideas and stuff there that is great. So it's great. I see everybody saying hello, and oh, it's great. Uh, our friend Leslie from across the pond, and oh, and Laura and Figgy. Figgy Janice is Laura's cat Daddy. that beads with her he is a little dumpling cute. of a baby <laughs> he's so so cute um so you can find i also wanted to mention with the lookbook you can uh download it you can click on it download it as a pdf and you can send it over to your e-reader and have it that way too ally linked and janice will attest to this every project and i'm just going to go right over here Project, and we'll look at this in a moment, but I'm just going to slide over. You can see here's one that Allie did. It prints out this way, right. but if you have the electronic version, each one of these is linked. Yes. Each Janice way. counted. Janice, do you know what? You counted, Janice. Did you count? There's over like 300 links. Oh, no, there's almost 500. 500 <laughs> links, yeah. <laughs> that Allie did every single link because all the links to the um, beadshop.com mm -hmm. are linked and it's and, crazy yeah, you so. just it was really really amazing so they're <laughs> such a, a a great tool for you guys to use and if you want to find the pieces on bead shop you just go ahead in your <clears throat> pardon me electronic copy um you just go ahead and click it click and it'll bring you right to the beadshop.com website. And I want to say right now to all of our wonderful design team, Allie, who is the design team head, who's sitting right next to me, and Faye, and Danielle, and Kim, who I believe are all watching. Oh, yay. You guys just outdid yourself and we are so, so grateful. And I know everybody that's watching and all of our wonderful Bead Table members are also who are watching are super indebted to your wonderful designs. So we really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> you can read more about, and I think um, in the newsletter this morning, there's a link to our design team in our blog. So if you go over to our blog, also called The Bead Table, you can find That's out right. more about That's the right. design team there. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. And you can also find um, on Instagram, and we'll link those. I'll have Drea probably put it in another newsletter in the future where you can find um, um, all of our uh, Instagram feeds yes. from the design team and then the individual links for our design team because it, it's great. The Insta feeds are wonderful. So um, jump in, jump in and go to Insta. So I'm going to take a bracing cup of coffee, a uh, drink of coffee out of my Alfie mug oh. and <laughs> I'm going to click over here. Now, we're going to bring these, whoops, that didn't, ah, I clicked, there it is, there I'm going to wait a minute, a little delay, a little delay, I was going to wait a minute, what delay. happened? It's hard being the director <laughs> and the talent. Um, it's, so Allie brought a whole bunch of her archive that we're going to show you 
um, today as we go through the book. Um, I'm going to move this back and I'm going to move this pages. over. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And I'll just take okay. the pages and put them over. On the I'm going to center as this do as we can, if I can, in the shot. And we're going to jump in. Now, I recommend all y'all, if you have not done it yet, grab a pencil and paper or get a pen to make notes in your lookbook and be ready to take some screenshots. If you're watching this on your mobile device, it's really easy to uh, just take a quick screenshot from your mobile. If you're watching this like my mom would be doing, though I don't see her quite yet on the thing. So Ma, if you're here, give me a shout out. Sometimes they're busy on Wednesday mornings. Um, uh, but you can take a photo, uh, just take a photo of the screen with your phone or whatever, and that'll help you remember. But do remember, these broadcasts live on and on. Best place to find them is on our YouTube channel. Give it a follow, and they're all archived under our Bead Shop Live. So let's come in and take a look at this wonderful book. So, Ali, I'm going to ask you, because sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you don't, always don't get that much direction from us here at Bead Shop. <laughs> this is really all them, you guys. Um, we just are running around like chickens with our heads cut off, and then Allie just throws, tosses this book right in our corner, and we're just so stoked. So what was... So tell me a little bit about the cover, about Follow Your Daydreams. What was your story? Uh, my story is I'm fortunate enough to live in an area where I can look out and have this gorgeous view, day, night, and whenever I want. And I, sometimes I catch myself daydreaming, oh, looking I love that. at the view. So um, this is one of the views uh, that I see every day, uh, colorful skies. Now I did enhance the sky a little mm -hmm. bit and the color just to brighten it up, but I just thought it was a nice idea to, you know, to daydream. Yeah. Because evidently I did some um, research and daydreams help make you creative. Oh, I agree. Uh, so the time that I spend sitting at my desk staring out the door actually is... It works. Works. It works. Perfect. So feel free to just stare <laughs> Perfect. away. Perfect. Stare away. Out into <laughs> Thank space. you, Allie. Yes. Awesome. So that's, you know, that kind of was the little... Um, set off point to get this whole thing rolling yeah no it was great and, and the rest of the team took over it took over yeah. i love it so let's just i'll let you i'll take the yeah. pages and what i love about this is that you filled this book with quotes yes we did and there's an artist statement from each of you we like to write a little uh just something a little meaningful about you know daydreaming mm -hmm. or, or our our creativity what it means to us that kind of thing yeah um, it was this is really special um because this year Faye was in a bit of a turmoil uh mm -hmm. with her life and she wasn't sure she was going to be able to do any projects mm -hmm. for the book but lo and behold, Faye just got back in there, and she actually made more projects than any of I us. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so she has a little bit of a blurb there about her trials and tribulations. No, I love and, it. Um, I love so it. That's what that's all and about. And what I love about the design team, and if you go over to the blog and you read a little bit about each of you, um, we're you're all so different, and your yes, like design eyes different. are so different. But I love how. We come together kind of at the bead table. Oh, and absolutely. It's really, it's really incredible. So you can read a little bit about there. So yeah. let's, um, Get let's started. turn the page. Let's, let's go. So before we even go this far, I'm going to lay these monthly mixes down. Now, there were four monthly mixes. I'm going to try and remember them in order. I think it went Pear Festival. No, it went Mountain, Mountain. then Pear then Sea Star, then Fall Gourds, right? That's how it went, I think. Because that was Close September. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was, um, this was Emily's for August, I think. Right, okay. Um, and works. so we re, so many of the projects in this lookbook uh, come, take their inspiration from our tube of monthly right. mix. So back in July, Drea, um, designed this one called Mountain Glow. And so um, uh, that was the first one that went out. Then Emily's was Pear Festival for August. Mine was 
Sea Star for September, and then Allie came and did Fall Gourds for October. Right. And so these uh, these figure prominently throughout the book. So if you didn't get uh, your fall, your monthly mix for those months, we've restocked them. Limited amounts, so when we're out of these, we're out again, but they are available right now. So if you do want them, um, you can jump over. And there's still, of course, availability on Roaring Twenties, which uh, I did for January. So that's, so that, so I'm gonna roll those, roll them right over, there we go. And this one was, um, was from Kim. Yes, she did. She took off on the uh, camp story, mm -hmm. uh, spending time, you know, camping as uh, a youngster, and some of the things that she saw, and just more of a nature type thing. Yeah, I just love it. And she took a nod from I. It was the. I think it was the San Francisco, the Golden Gate one, where you put the... Yeah, I did uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, but I yeah. think this one where I did letters was um, the Febu February Oh, one. the love, when you love, put love new, in there. Yeah, new something, love. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's in the year of, year of lookbooks or right. whatever. Right, yeah. yes. I just love, literally, how you guys are writing in... The wrap bracelets. I think it's so cool. Yeah, it's real simple to do. If if you need, you just use a piece of graph paper. You yeah, can and graph we have those. The graph, I was the beat say graphs, your charts, yeah, or anything like are that, on the um, right, are work. on the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Emily did. Yeah. No, it's great. And that works. And there's a whole list, and then you guys have designer notes and a quote in each yeah, one to just and, and a color palette. Look at that color palette. You guys can pull. You know, if you have bead shop things in your stash, or you have going to go stash diving, here's a great color palette to um, to follow. Just to help you get started yeah. on something. It's so good. So this is your epic mountain mama. Oh yes. Now, and that one's here. Yes. That one came to visit. What did I do with it right here? <laughs> it's so good. It's so big. <laughs> it's so big. This wrap, it's like a 12, how many wraps is this? Well, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's uh, wraps around Myra's 13, 13 times. It's a 13 wrap. And, and it is wearable. I do yeah. wear it. As you can see, it's, it's so used. Good. It's very used. Yeah. Um, but this has that. You can see. Yeah, there we go. Favorite. Um, Our trails end. Closure, closure that we really mm -hmm. love and use that, that great button. button. Yeah. Um, and then just all kinds of different sections. Sections, that yeah. We have. And I love the Super Duo section yeah. that you did. And you can see on this page, you can see like what Karen does, the. the the project, project map. map. Right. And what I love too is your tile tila section. Mm -hmm. It's really it's great. So on this one, it looks like this is just an extension yeah, just of stringing. This wrap, right? It's like you just start stringing yeah. the, after you've done the macrame. Yeah. yeah. And one thing I wanted to point out too are this transition one right here. That's a Matubo. It's a two watt, right? And so and they have large holes. Large holes. So if you're looking to make, to have a good bead that's a transitional bead between your things for wraps, those work great. Yeah, they work really great. I love it. I just love all. I love all this. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. yeah, and you can see on uh, on the page here, the additional learning is here too. And so you can go to this additional learning on the bead shop website to help you navigate the techniques you need to make these pieces. Okay. So, oh yes, Mountain Glow Mix yes. Projects. Danielle pretty? Wicks just went for it. And look how she popped it up with the color right there. I love it with that butterfly. And so this is just a nice collection that just works with each of these. I really like this piece that you, you you did, Danielle, this one that you used the wire guards here for the closure, and how you use the mixed metals with the copper and the silver butterfly, it looks great. And it looks like this is just two strands that comes together through a half tila. Yeah. Couldn't it be easier. Simple, you know, simple. stringing. Yeah. And her inspiration was up on the, uh, in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. uh, Mount beautiful. Rainier. So nice. Really beautiful. Great. I love it. Great job. Really nice. 
A Walk in Drea's Woods. I love this, Faye. Mm -hmm. This, I thought, was particularly clever. If you look at how this wrap is constructed, okay, and I'm going to kind of move it, and I'm going to get, because I thought this, this really caught my eye. I'm going to get a little tighter in here so you guys can see this, though I know some of you already have it at home. It'll be easier for you guys to yeah. see. This is that herringbone, right? Herringbone, herringbone, herringbone. And then what Faye did was she just looped the leather back and silk wrapped it. Then, and Faye, correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like it's just one long strand mm -hmm. that's been captured here and here in the same manner. So it becomes a two strand. I just love it. I love the way that looks. And I love it also, you did that same thing here, and I love the double macrame yes. that comes out there. And the spindles add a nice touch. Yeah, really, really nice. Really different. Yeah. It really looks good. Mm -hmm. And I really like, I think that sometimes, and you do this too, Ali. I do it all the time. When you yeah. do this kind of contrasting mm -hmm. thread. I, yeah, and I like that. I don't know what gets into me, but I'm like, oh my God, I have to make the thread match. And then I need to remember, back it up, Richburg. Yeah. The thread is actually it's another design element. Part of the design, yeah. exactly. I mean, it doesn't have to be, yeah. but it's nice yeah. when it is. It yeah. is, and you have one, we'll pull it at the end, you have one that really shows that how thread is really a piece of the design. So I really, I, I mean, I love them all. I'm gonna say this about every single mm -hmm. one, but it's great. I'm gonna bring that back to the center. There we go. Got and it. then I'll play, and then I'll pull it down. There we go. All right, so what else have we got? I'll keep on going. We it's like story time. Here. I know, it's like story time, you guys. Okay, right? so we have this one. Yeah. And so Janice has a good question, and um, I love this, and I've got the beads for it too, the mountain, um, the freeform. But Janice has asked, how long does it take you to make one of your wrap bracelets? Um, if I just sit down and work probably five to six hours, mm -hmm. um, I don't always do it all in one shot. So And do you, you know. pre-plan? No. <laughs> you don't? Uh, yeah. I'm just, you know, and I don't grab a lot of things. I'll just grab a few things, usually what's in front of me or near me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's how I, I do it too. I just kind of grab yeah. and I find it. The, sometimes the fewer choices you have, the easier it is. Right. If you start pulling out, you know, hundreds of things, mm -hmm. you're going to get nowhere. <laughs> right. It'll be confusing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, no, I just, so I wing it. Yeah. I'll wing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how, a lot of times that's the way that I come up with things too. And sometimes you just have to trial and error. And mm -hmm. if you guys watch me on Friday, you know I do a lot of it right on camera in front of you on Free Tip Friday. But, you know, yeah. um, just... Sometimes you just have to jump in and be willing to, if it's not right, cut it up and redo. Yeah. Oh, I, I rip out all mm -hmm. the time. This was a whole new project for this me. This is, so. I love this. It's your freeform peyote. Correct. And I did, for that month, I worked on these freeform peyote stitched yeah, beads. They just match. <laughs> I used, they're so good. I used a, one of our um, wood rounds, and you could dye the wood rounds if you wanted to, like Emily showed on a former Bead Shop Live, right? Um, and then I just did Freeform Peyote, so you can watch that one. That's wonderful. And what Allie did was she... Well, this is horizontal right. peyote. So, so you, you did it across. Yeah, you don't do the normal. Right. You do it in this direction across, so you just set your row right. with what you want. And then just go back and fill back in. and forth. And then just change whenever you want to change. It's great. Just use a variety of beads, different sizes. Um, I even was able to get the tilas in here yeah. too from the mix. It's real. Um, so you just started yeah. your peyote row here. Right. String on your first one and two rows. Go back through and peyote back and so forth. So it's easy to measure. It's great. Up front. Mm hmm. You can measure that first, you know, that the first, first wrap, yeah, right, right, what you need. So it's really an easy project. And so you intentionally started and stopped the rows with these. Yes. 
Yeah. So clever. Just a you know for the closure, yeah. so it had a little consistency. Let's see how to the it. button is stitched on there. Just stitch it, and you can you know there's a lot and of you can use on, beads yeah. to do a loop to do the loop. But I really like how this looks. This is wonderful. But it's that one's very addicting. So mm -hmm. that one's a fun. We might have to uh, we might have to do that. Do one. something like this. Yeah, yeah it's really fun, fun isn't it, you guys? I just I really really love it. Yeah, that one's yeah. a good one. It's great. Okay. Shall we move on? Yes. And this, the buttons that we used, that's that, I just wanted to point oh, it yeah. out. That's that uh, three dot flower, and we have it in some different yes, colors. Three dot. That's the one I used. I love in, that. Button. I love it too. In that Ming, and uh, not the Ming, in the uh, Jade Dreams oh, yes. kit. Yes. You guys saw it in there, and then we had to add it to stock. It's a vintage, not a vintage, but it's a check glass button made in the style of the vintage buttons. Um, this is terrific. Superstar. Like Kim using the Super Duos um, and that barrel knot. Yes, she added some variety with the knots. You yep. can see them clearly here. Looks great. Um, added our standard you know, button and some charms. Mm -hmm. She did uh, some diagonal. I love here. that diagonal. I'm going to scoot it up yeah, just a little. See a little bit of and it. that diagonal look in the wrap mm -hmm. really you know, I think of a wrap just as linear, lines up and down, up and down, up and down. But I love that the, um, how it diagonals. And then did, you know, some transitions. Mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of variety going on yeah. in there. A lot of different stitches. Yeah, it's great. And then she did her the cute earrings. little yeah. um, brick Yeah, I have my brick stitch. I brought my brick stitch. Yeah earrings out that I did with Emily. This was that episode. The epic, if you go to the bead table and you search, you know, brick stitch earring, or you just search the photos, if you click on the photos, and then you can just go through and um, see all the photos. This earring project just went off the rails. Everyone loved it. It was so loved great. Loved that one. So good. So, and they don't take that much time. Oh, though, no. I'll okay. be honest. I have one earring that I've made <laughs> that I love so much. The second earring is about halfway Still done. Still not. <laughs> I have to finish it because I want to show you guys this earring I made before those components are oh available anymore. I know. It's like, oh, on. but I really, I love it. It was perfect fall colors, but now I'm going to say it's just perfect. Oh, it's just um, perfect. Yeah. I don't know into spring coat. I don't yeah. know. Whatever. It just works. <laughs> yeah, it just works. So, uh, so yeah, we're getting a lot of love though from this across, um, peyote and, and, um, Danielle was saying she has a lengthwise peyote, um, thing to share with us pattern. Yes. So I'm excited about that. She does. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Oops. Good. Yep. That's yep. It. Good. Vintage holiday. You guys, look at now don't for you know sometimes if if you come and visit us when if if you come and visit us when uh when you come on bead shop live with me you see our wall are what my late great mother-in-law used to call my i love me wall which is yes. funny yeah. And so this is the memory wire, and I forget about memory wire I sometimes. do, too. I do, too. I'm like, oh, oh, right, memory wire. And it looks like, Danielle, you snuck this in. This is a herringbone tube. Can you guys see that? That's a length of herringbone that Danielle just strung She's on the memory wire. strung right on the wire. Like it was one long bead. Yes. That's so smart. Yes. Terribly clever. Isn't that clever? I, just, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And then, of course, um, our uh, the dancer earrings that yes. we do um, that has that leafy loop. One of uh, Daniel's specialties. Yes, she has a lot of those a lot in of different um, formats. So. And we have a ton of memory wire projects that I also wanted to bring out. Some of you guys will remember. This is one that I did on a free tip Friday when we were back in the old, I remember sitting in my office and doing this back in our old office. Yes, right? I do remember In our little that. shoved up in the corner. That. This was the monthly mix, I think from July 2017, I'm gonna reunion. Yes. And I started to add the macrame with some 0.5 millimeter leather right there. 
And so Janice kind of picked that up and did these this two. This epic. Yeah, they're so good. Look how big this one is. It's so nice. Yeah. And she did the spiral macrame yes. around it. You can see it right yeah. here. Yeah, it just looks so good. So if you're stumped, if you're having a design slump, you know what? Pull out your, and there's that other one. That one was from, cute, yeah, yeah, really cute with the daisies and stuff. I think I did that one. I feel like I did, but I don't know. I'd have to look. Um, but if you're stumped, make a mix of beads, get out memory wire, and just string. Janice used the base of these guys um, as the um, uh, the oh, padres. The padres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she just matched. I think this is wax linen yeah, kinda looks that like she it. did. And so she just matched that in this kind of beautiful light color. Very way. neutral. Very neutral. And this one I think she did with CKC on this. Yeah, so fun. if you get in, in Definitely if you fun. get stuck, yeah, memory wire is back, it's called. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a good one. You can always do that. It's yeah. an easy, easy mm -hmm. project. Yes, yeah, so easy. Yeah. And it's a great way to use up your stash yeah. and add if you don't have the Padres in your collection, that is a great kind of bead extender. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Tide Pool Queen, and she's here. Tide Pool Queen, I'm sure. That's I'm mine. Sure that one. Yeah, no one, no, no one wants to see mine. Everyone wants to see yours. I want to see yours. I think it's over there. Right here. Yeah, there I have to pick through all this. So. Bounty of <laughs> So good. Okay. So now, I love starfish. that Allie did the starfish. You can see there's the starfish right, right there. Fish. Well, I know right? Right there it is. Look at it. It really, it's so clever. And you used 2.0 leather on this, didn't you? Know, you know, I've been doing that lately. I, I just, I really like um, the sturdiness of I it. I do too. Yeah. And the beads don't pop. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> the beads yeah. really lay pretty nicely. Am I in there? There you go. Yeah, good thing it's hard to follow. Um, so I, I just kind of, I'm in that mode now where mm -hmm. I do the two point. Um, yeah, the 2.0 leather. But I think one of the things I like to do with my wrap bracelets is I always like to tell a story. And so I always use one section to highlight what the theme, what that, it's all about. Right. So that's kind of my new thing. What the sea stars are yeah, doing Yeah, sea stars. And yeah. then then the rest of it, you just pattern. You know, yeah. use what you have. And again, I sort mine out. Right. And then you can add a few, you know, beads. What I love about that section that you just passed up, you guys, that is A dots and five millimeter yeah, those rondelles. Little rondelles that are I love those. And it creates some negative space mm -hmm. in that strand. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. It's it great. To, that's a really fun part. And then yeah. you know that you can just do the tilos. Um Yeah, the know, tilos are so tilos. nice. Yeah. And then the the um this is the where you conceal the splice mm -hmm. is in right in this there. little area that right little area here under that yeah. the under, under the transition and again doing the having the leather really show yes. in that macrame with the beads on the side gives you the texture that mm -hmm. you need so mm -hmm. so that's a fun fun little project mm -hmm. no and, it's really good uh, so we just took our our cue from the starfish. From the, the mix, yes. The, mix. the one yeah, that I did for nice. that month, and you guys may remember, I did, this piece is loomed. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure someone will link it in the comments. But if you go to the Facebook Live, you'll see it. I did it probably uh, around the beginning of September of last year. And I loomed this section with my beads. And then I came in... And then I took it off, and then, um, and then I filled in to taper this down on this side and this side, tied my knots, and then did a second skinny little wrap. So when it wraps, it has a heavy wrap and a, a thinner wrap mm -hmm. there. So it was kind of fun to do. Pretty. And I like. I don't do a lot of these really wide ones like this, so it was kind of fun. So yeah, it's a good way. It was a I good like way. Mm -hmm. It was fun to I like that one. Okay. Yeah, Jackie's saying she loves the idea of herringbone on memory wire. I do too. 
I love that idea. Yeah, that's I, a great idea. I need to, we need to explore that yeah, one too. Yeah, look into that one. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, what we've got here. Yeah. So Faye did something that was a little, uh, was a little different and I Very, like it. Yeah, no, it turned out great. She kind of went off on a tangent with her weaving and then made a very special clasp. Yeah, now this clasp is our, I think it's our tall and handsome. Tall clasp, and handsome, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And Faye uh, glued this. She brick stitched this piece, I think, is what it is. Yeah. And then she She'll adhered kind of it. Explained yeah, it she explained it right there. So she used her jewel loom um, by our friend Juliana uh, Avalar. And um, she did a little seed bead mandala that she attached with zap glue. Really cool. Yeah. And then did um, her brick stitch earrings are a little bit different. They have a loop. I love that idea. Instead of just the regular fringe. Yeah. I love it. So I'm going to have to make that too with the loop. So those turned out really yeah. cute too. And I love, we're going to have to show the tassel you're wearing because that also incorporates Oh, loop. yeah. We'll take that I love it. Hand. Yeah. Okay. So good. And that one, we really love that yeah. one. It's so good. Okay. And someone's asking, I'm going to take a moment. I think people, no, no, no. Oh. People were asking about things on storage um, and over on the, the um, YouTube chat. I think you guys are referring to the face of the uh, free tip Friday that I did when I had my studio in South San Francisco. I did a studio tour and I talked about storage. It's in that one. It's probably, you can find it under our oh, free tip Friday. Okay. And it was a while back. It's probably goes back, I would say two years. Wow. But it's there, it's there somewhere. So that's where that discussion is. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> this one got a lot of hearts from my mom. I saw my mom explode oh, with hearts on this. Sweetheart. I, the, I, I want to do this on a, on a Facebook, on a beach Yeah, this life. one is, it, everybody it can do this. Yeah. yeah. Everyone can do that one. Um, it's just, it, it's three Bollywoods. So clever. Just, you know, all strung through the one button and you can't get them all through. So you have to get one set of leather and then you just hang the other two off, off of that it. one. Oh, off so, that one. Right. Yeah. And it's very sturdy. And you so is that how, anymore. so when you did this, you just attached the leather at the button, did the Bollywood stitch down each one. Mm -hmm. They're all, you, you know, just lay yeah. them out mm -hmm. and do each one. And when you get close to the end, then what you have to do is, you know, do your braiding because some might need to be a little bit longer mm -hmm. than the other. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get to the end, you know, you gather them all together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tighten up on this one just a little. Okay, hold it up. Oh, yeah, you can hold it up. Why don't we hold it up a little bit? Sorry, let me get it a little bit wider. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And you just gather them all together. You know, lay your braid mm -hmm. out. You can have a loose braid or a tight braid. Mm -hmm. it all, you could braid with four. That you could. That braid, I think I you showed you how to do four that Four would, would really mm -hmm. make a nice bracelet. Yeah. Um, gather them all together. And I actually, I end up cutting the leather out. Mm -hmm. I macrame over it. And cut the leather out for the with loop. the zap glue. That's make clever. sure it's all it's it's not going anywhere. No. It's all connected, um, and, and then just do your macrame yeah. loop. I um, love you this can piece. Stick a charm on yeah. there. Um, you, there's so many things you can do. This is a double wrap. I, I mean, really you could do it, it as a single. Yeah. Or even a triple, and like you said, four. Yeah. Um, what Rain is saying is she loves how it gives this piece so much texture. Yes, it's very textural. And I don't know, do you guys remember back in the 70s, I don't know, I was, I, I think probably when I was at the end of grammar school going into junior high, the thing that a lot of kids were making was they get the, um, they would get like twine, like kitchen twine yes. or something, and they would make like this wide macrame like bracelet. A macrame. Yeah, yeah, and it felt like everybody was wearing like those mm. white macrame bracelets, <laughs> I felt like. Um, you know, like, I don't know, the teen heartthrobs. Right, like, I don't exactly. Know, I don't know which teen heartthrob I was, I was <laughs> crushing on them, but, but uh, this kind of has that, that kind of boho Boho, yeah, it's it. very yeah. boho. Yeah. I 
really like it. Back from maybe the day. I'll, maybe I'll try and incorporate that in a four with single wrap. Yeah, four. I think four that would, would be, be fun. Spectacular. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Ass. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. And people are giving the thumbs up for holding them up, so we'll okay. hold them up. A I will bit do that. Guys. Okay. Thank you. Next one up is we've done this before, um, but I just kind of that beaded uh, the. What, well, what do you call it? Beaded cluster? Beaded? Yeah, what do you we know, call I one? learned this from Janice at the bead retreat, mm -hmm. and she called them tassel berries. Right. So that's kind of the name I gave them was tassel mm -hmm. berry. Um, but what I don't think anybody could really see, even in the um, demonstration, mm -hmm. was the drape on this stuff is mm, so, it's nice. so nice. Yeah. These it's bracelets so nice. just drape. Yeah. Um, if it's a necklace, it's really. It's, and you could wear that either, necklace or a wrap. Right? Yeah. You can. This is a three, mm -hmm. but it also could go around your neck. What I like about this too is that there's a unifying theme in this piece that all of these little mm -hmm. tassel beads here, tassel berries here, are, you know, they're different-ish. But the thing that brings them together is they all have the bronze in the center, and then they're unified by that six mil and that six aught bead the fire so, polish yeah the mm -hmm. fire polish mm -hmm. so it gives your eye some unification right, right um it's really good and yeah again the, that drape is so good. yeah it's so good and what did you string it on ceylon yeah ceylon. all of these are yeah. on ceylon really nice yeah people are saying millie's head just exploded oh no i love it fisherman bracelet michelle how did I know that you would know? I think that you and I are joined at the hip. <laughs> I feel like all the way up there in Canada that's with you. Cute. With you. Okay, yes, last. Yes, fisherman's bracelet. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, takes me back. Then the last one, this is beautiful too, also. So great. again, this is another, this is the Compadre um, project. That's all it is, pretty much. Is, mm -hmm. um, you right, use, it is compadres. Yeah. yeah. And I used one uh, millimeter leather to give it, you know, a little bit of yeah. flex. Otherwise, the, the heavier leather might be too hard to right. braid. Um, and, you know, it goes quick. It's same thing. Layout three. This one I started, um, I don't even know how I... It looks like you did the same thing. Same deal, yeah. And, and then connected. you just connect them. Yeah. And you lay them out separately and... and them however yeah. you want it in infinity stitch or right. ladder and it's a two it's a like a two bead ladder yeah. or you could make it as wide yeah. as you want to yeah um again just braiding them gathering gather them all together at the mm -hmm. end um, i really like this and you Brilliant. know what i didn't even realize it was compadres but it is yeah, i've never made one a, i yeah. need to make one it, simple because you yeah. just three different laddered bracelets it's really yeah. beautiful so i nice. love it that's Beautifully that. done, Allie okay. Mori. Water song. Now, I should have thought about it and brought my wonderful earrings that Danielle um, uh, sent me. I wear these all the time. These are inspired by the Mambo earrings that I did on a broadcast a while back. She did hers with the um, star cuts around the sides. And they are sitting in my jewelry box right now. I wear them <laughs> all the flipping time. If this is too large for you as an earring, it makes a perfect pendant. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. pendant. Be gorgeous. And I also love, Danielle, what you did here is you connected those spindle beads. Mm -hmm. Different type of section. Right. In Different a ladder bracelet. In a ladder bracelet. Mm -hmm. And that's just connected with our textured jump rings, the oval ones. I love those. It's a great way to do it. Yeah. We use, so use those a lot. Yeah, and then just done. our our we love this type of closure. Yeah, that trails end closure. Um, like to works call it. really well. Yeah. And showing the color palette, I mean you can just you can see how you can just Yeah. The color is so it's easy to put together in beads. It yeah. really is. Um, it really looks no one nice. should have fear of that. No, they're just. Be I always say they're just beads. Yeah, exactly. Right. So make sure you read all the little stories. Yeah, all about, the stories and look at yeah. each page, you guys. My favorite thing, and you've seen sometimes when I'm out in the studio part of beadshop.com, <laughs> you can see the quotes that I have on the walls. Um, but this is a great one. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. So we need to. Yeah, these sometimes are Sometimes I need to remind myself that. Very inspirational. Yes. Help you create. Yep. Experiment. Yeah, this is cute. 
so cute. Kim has a Kim. good sense of humor, um, and she likes to, you know, add like the experiment. So I, I loved love it. it. Yeah, I did. And what I loved here, there's a line of that. Um, just you know Bollywood with mm -hmm. the smaller beads this pear festival I'm gonna show you guys yeah. if you don't have it grab it because I'm serious we're not making this mix again this mix takes you know and leave it to Emily to come up with <laughs> a really amazing uh, amazing mix but also one that has Padres and six mil and eight mil and eleven aughts um, Chris tubed all of these and he was constantly stirring the mix so the 11 knots would They'd rise to, to the be, top. Right. Yeah. So it was pretty fun. So if you don't have this, grab it because I don't think we're going to be making this one again. I don't know. I, it's not hard to say, but but it has such good um, good beads in it, a good mix. Yeah, I mean, look at the colors. That yeah. you, you can just it's pop so it great. up. And... and again, I like that just the macrame and coming into these spindle beads add a lot of um, Right, this was focus. one of the projects where you gave us all the mm -hmm. spindle beads mm -hmm. and what we had to do with them. So that that was one of the things that Kim mm -hmm. did. And uh, yeah, we love this one. And she created some matching earrings to go with it. Yeah. And sort of did her little really nice. around though. That looks oval. great. Oh. Nicely done. Now this one. We just We're happen gonna, to we have, just happen to have it. And this is something that you want to share about color, which I thought was a great... Um, yeah, whenever you get stuck and you don't know what color to make, mm -hmm. um, I found that by taking a Picasso bead, mm -hmm. and we yeah, have this... Just a little bit. Do you that want way. me to... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Can we see that? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. By taking a Picasso bead and looking at it very closely, you can see the colors mm -hmm. that are in it. And you can't go wrong, you know, adding those colors. Right, to the rest of your to necklace. To the rest of the necklace. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm demonstrating here. And then also um, gave you the pattern to do a traditional... Um, Tibetan mala. Mm -hmm. They're all different. They all mm -hmm. have different ways of stringing the beads. But this one has a marker bead. Mm -hmm. Every, I think, 28 beads or mm -hmm. something. 23 beads. So I use the spindles as your marker. As the marker beads. The spindle beads I love so much. I love vintage style beads as well as vintage beads. And especially if you're going to be handling something like this, mm -hmm. the spindles just have such a nice feel to them. Yeah. They, yeah. And they give you know good flow to yeah. everything too. Yeah. And then we used our wonderful um, that bird bird um, pendant as yeah. the from Philip guru, Bird, yeah, yes. from Cynthia. Yeah, it's so, really good. So this was really fun. But it just shows that you know color can just come from anything. Yeah, I love it. And the thing Janice and I were working on the um, super duos yesterday figuring out you know we're going to get some new colors new and colors. We're playing around with it and you know each one was like I would put it out and we'd discuss it it was on this chopping block it's like what about this one and Janice is all nope I'm going to lay my life down for that bead um, so and everything that was Picasso Jan I was and I agree 100% you can do a lot with you them. can do a, a mm -hmm. lot with them so mm -hmm. you know yeah so you have Janice to thank that none of the Picassos were on the chopping block. All the Picassos I'm, are good. Sometimes I'm ruthless. Now, on this, Melanie was asking, what was it strung on? Ceylon. Ceylon, right? yeah. Pretty yep. much my go-to mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I am experimenting now with other cords, mm -hmm. but Ceylon for all of these. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Okay. Yeah. And Rena's observing that she loves how the pendant and the spindle are the same size or the same shape on that one. Yes, it right. Mimic. Great. You can yeah. mimic um, shapes. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that mm -hmm. either. Beautiful. Yeah. Padres Lariat. If this doesn't say Faye, I don't know what it does. Definitely. I Faye. love it. Now Faye uses the um, the spindle bead in vintage Picasso stone, mm -hmm. which I think are no longer available. Mm. And but any of the, there's another one. So many. There's yeah. another one that's available that's really close. The thing about the check glass beads, you guys, and I'll tell you, uh, it's not a secret, but kind of an industry thing is that these beads, they're actually made in small batches, right? They're made by the same families that have been making these check beads for, yeah. you know, hundreds of years. And these beads sometimes are at the whim of the bead makers. Right. So the bead companies that go over and buy from 
Czech Republic or from Austria or wherever the beads are still being made. Maybe this would be called vintage Picasso stone. And then they come back a year later and they say, you know what? I need another yeah. however many hundreds of mass of vintage Picasso stone. And they say, okay, here you go. But it's a completely different bead. And it's different. It's the completely color different. different. The color is different. The way that they've made the glass is different. Mm -hmm. So when you see beads that have kind of unique colors or unique finishes, grab all you want because they may not That's be. it. That's yeah, it. That's it. It's I gone. love them. I don't even have a strand of these. No, I, love them I don't so, think no, I do either. No, I love them so much. But that, those, yeah, those are good ones. And, and I have to shout out to Faye because her first reaction was, you didn't send me anything with color. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, <laughs> But they were bland. But what she did with them, you know, by adding the colorful mm -hmm. Padres mm -hmm. and, you know, and the black and white, which is great accent yeah, color. Yeah, it's really good. Really popped it up, yeah. and it turned out Yeah, it's I love beautiful. these batik bones. Those are the ones that yeah. they use for her stash. Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, and then it, she shows how you can tie it differently, tie it. Yeah. the length. and It's great. So it's really a fun yeah. one. Lariats are always fun. Yeah. That's good. Okay. This is the one that blew up that we had to put on Alfred last time you were here. Well, it was a green one. The green one, yeah. yeah. But the, it's similar. Yeah. A similar it's, thing. It's really good. So I did it a little bit different this time um, than the green one. But again, another Picasso bead to set your To color, set your color tone. Your color tone. I um, promise to never get rid of any Picasso bead that we have on the wall. Yeah. So there, that gives you a little bit of a close-up of how yeah. the colors... And the orange, the contrast oh, between yeah. the orange thread and then the um, orange uh, adventuring, yellow yeah. adventuring is what they, I think is what they call that it. What, what it's are we, called? I what don't are know. We, uh, oh, it's red, red adventuring. It's red, red adventuring. Yeah, it is red. Yeah, which is great. And it's just a lighter, yeah. you know, it's more like... They have a little bit of variation in them for sure. One of the things that I'll bring back, you guys remember we keep bringing Cynthia's color wheel mm -hmm. back. One of the things that Cynthia talked about when she was here is talking about using like the tones that are the three colors that are next to each other. So it's like, you know, this mm -hmm. orange and then a slightly darker orange. That always works. It works together. With the, mm -hmm. You know, right. Um, with the contrast and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and you can see moving across the color wheel from that orange to this blue. Yeah, it, the, it's the complement. Yeah, the complement. Yeah, actually, looks complement really great. The color. So, yeah. Um, yeah, really can't gorgeous. go wrong again can't with Picasso. Mm -hmm. it, it just, uh, it all works. Nope, I promise. No, never Picassos. Well, if we can get them, we'll have them. <laughs> Then this, you used brick stitch. I did. And you used the checkmates tile. I used the little tile. I love using the tile. I do too. And you just treat them as if they're two. Right. Two, two beads. Stacks right. Of because beads. they have two holes. Uh -huh. Right. And you just, you know, you do the same thing. Right. So four beads, but there are eight holes to go through. Right. Very smart. And then, yeah, you just, I mean, you could make them bigger. You could mm -hmm. actually do three if you mm -hmm. want them smaller. And what I love here, your pico at the bottom, that's a hishi. Yeah. Bead, right? And just take yeah. it around and go back go up. Go back up. Mm hmm There you have it. Yeah. Beautiful. Fun, fun. Okay. And this is... Yes. we're. I know that's Gita just brought up. We are getting more spindles. Uh, but again, some of that check, that's what Janice and I are really working on getting rid of some of the you know we keep the beads up there that say they're out sometimes in the hope that maybe they'll come maybe back, they'll come back. <laughs> maybe yeah. they'll come back but janice and i are doing a lot of website cleaning for mm -hmm. 2020 yeah. so you'll see some new things coming down the pike and some of those old things will be cleared out so i'm sorry i know some things do say that they're out of stock and we're gonna try and um we're gonna try and either verify from the vendor that it's gone for good um, and right. if it is uh, we'll have to say goodbye to those photos but don't worry we're gonna get some new some of those new ones on there as well okay so, okay, so we have next up this fall cord spiral uh, Emily taught that spiral which was great I loved it. There is a spiral rope project yeah, if you want to look it up. There. It's there. Um, and she just blended the colors perfectly and using these 
gorgeous drops. Yeah, I love those drops. Um, really came out. It came out nice in the big. Yeah, that um, the leaf. The leaf. Uh, alder leaf. Alder leaf. Alder leaf yeah. in silver. And again, Danielle not afraid to mix the right metals and in mix her the project. metals, which I love to do mm -hmm. too. So I, I think too. that is a, is a perfect combo. Yeah. Um, the colors in that just really worked out well. Yeah. And the spiral rope that Emily teaches, uh, she does a couple of different colorways. It's a really fun project. I, what a surprise, have one that's half finished. But it's really, um, it's really good. Yeah. I like it. As you yeah. can see, it, it, it looks like it has good drape to, yeah, to it's it. It's really nice. Um, I think it will. Yeah, great job. So before moving on, you have the Fall Gourd Mix. I do. Here's so the Fall is, Gourd Mix. I've got a couple of tubes right we, here. Yeah. What I loved about this was we. this is all ADOTs. This was all, this one and C Star were all one size. And I got some feedback that people really loved it being all one size. Well, so we yeah. did that easy for a few, with. easy to design with. Mm -hmm. The ones that are coming up, well, you saw Roaring Twenties, not all the same no. size. <laughs> uh, but wait till you see, I gave Allie uh, a tube of February's mix yes, already. it's wonderful. It is wonderful. It's so from Karen. Good. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good so, one. <laughs> it's good. And then this is what else you can do with fall so mix. So I'm gonna, I'm I actually will. gonna. What else you can do with fall so mix? So I'm gonna, I'm I actually will. gonna. Want to move it yeah. over and then just put out. these out. Yeah. And what I wanted to show bit. here there we is Perfect. what you can do with the same mix by changing the leather color. You can kind of see how. Right. The difference in, I mean, just the overall difference. You you might not even know. It's the same mix, right? Because the the leather really and, does and have a different actually, personality. And here's yeah, here's where you can com kind of compare the light leather versus, right. you know, I love a little more map. formal with the mm -hmm. silvery color versus the distressed. Mm -hmm. So, um, but again, with the wraps, the signature thing is create the theme, right? <laughs> so the fall gourds or flowers, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of. And someone was asking, I saw it flash by in the comments, the difference between the Checkmates tiles and the tile beads. Now, is there one with the tiles there that we showed before? Um, I think that was in one of the wraps. Like one of Kim's, didn't she have one in her wrap? Oh, well, I wouldn't have Kim's. I mean, I'm sorry, in one of your wraps. Oh, right, because we were looking at it. Of course you wouldn't have Kim's. Yeah, it wouldn't be I in do. your stash. Um, oh, wait, we, I think we did, but what was it? Oh, the Mount Mama. Maybe. Oh, it has tiles. I think it had ty tiles. Tiles. Yes. It it, there it is. Right. Well, yeah, it has half half. tiles. That'll it work has for half. me. Yeah. So you can see, I'm going to pull, that's the half tile right there. And here is, there we go, the Checkmates tile. So the tiles are thinner, and they have a very, very, slight curve to them. Mm -hmm. And these are Japanese, the tiles. The check mates tiles, these are thicker, they're check glass, but they are a little bit more of a chunky bead. So they both, they kind of, you can kind of intermix them, mm -hmm. you know, in the same project, but they're, you're going to see one that's going to be higher or thicker, and then this one's going to be a little lower. So yeah, that's I kind like of the the, um, the checkmates work really well. They don't pop out. I know some of you complain mm -hmm. about the tilets popping up, and the checkmates. And the reason is is they're rounded, mm -hmm. so they have rounded edges, and they play nicely if you put rounded beads next to mm -hmm. them. They just sort of roll with it. Mm -hmm. Where when you have two tilets together, they tend to like the edges are a you know they want to sharp. Then they kind of want to go on top of each other mm -hmm. or overlap a little mm -hmm. bit. So. Um, if you're doing that, I suggest with a tile, is always try to put like a rounded bead next to it, and then mm -hmm. it, it wants to play nice. Yeah, it sits nicely. Yeah, that's so a beautiful nice. wrap. Well, this was a yeah, just a, a different way of making the mix. Yeah, it's really uh, the flowers. I love you guys the flowers in this. It's and again, graph it out on yeah. you know one of your charts if you need to. Um, it's really pretty. And the Distress Gray, my favorite leather. Mm -hmm. I love it. This one, Kim's coming up with 
her project oh, called Wilma. Oh, I love Wilma. this one, Wilma. Again, so Kim has a great sense of humor. Cute. <laughs> Let me see if I can straighten that. Whoops, straighten it goes the other way. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I'll hand you that. Too. Yeah. Um, but, of course, it's a, bra a necklace that Wilma Flintstone would love to wear. Featuring the 10 millimeter. Key, nice yeah, and chunky. chunky. Mm -hmm. What I love, and you know what? I'm just noticing it this very moment because I've looked through this book and looked through it, but I haven't focused on it as much as probably I should have. This is the coil mm -hmm. spacer. Mm -hmm. And each of these connectors, that coil spacer is used as like a jump ring or a yes. ring in between. Terribly clever. Mm -hmm. That's Kim. She uses components you know in yeah. different ways and yeah I love it gives you a lot of idea and then the ear the matching earrings I love this type of ear wire style mm -hmm. it's really fun I love it now do you use um Melanie was asking the the program that generates your color palette from a photo do you no use actually that? I generate these myself do you? um yeah mm -hmm. in uh, I use photoshop mm -hmm. Uh, Photoshop suite, Adobe suite of, of products, and um, there's a little eyedropper, and you can just actually go into and and match the colors, right. any colors you want, right? Pantone, um, you know, whatever. There's a lot of different color standards yeah. um, that come into play, and so you can match that. And then I just create my little, you know, square boxes, and and then just fill those boxes with that with that exact color, exact color, right. and that allows you to get accurate color palettes. But yeah, I don't. The reason why I don't use the color palette generators mm -hmm. is they don't generate enough colors. Right, right. Some of them are only four. Some of them are five. Mm -hmm. um, and the the photo may have way more colors in there. Right. And so you kind of lose the you whole. You lose some of it. Yeah. You lose the whole thing. There's also a website called Design Seeds, yeah. which is great. I don't know if they generate color palettes. They may um, do that. But they have a whole bunch of really beautiful color palettes that you can kind of look at that mm -hmm. come with photos. So give it a quick, um, give it a quick uh, Google search. And Janice is saying there's uh, one on Benjamin Moore paints that she uses. Well, some of actually. the paint sites do have mm -hmm. nice ones. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So give it a little, uh, a, a little Google search. But Design Seeds is one of my favorite. Yeah, it's um, fun to generate yeah. your colors. And, yeah, this is really great and though. Go I love there. this one. Yeah, I, I, I do too. It's a really fun one. Now this is Faye's take on uh, the big West County Cup. And Faye it, does them. She's she a does master. Them good. <laughs> yeah, it's a master. She also, if you're part of the bead table, the bead shop bead table group, she did a little um, tutorial yes. on that. She has so a demo. if you go, if you're a member of the bead table, if you're not, go for it and um, answer the questions. We'd love to have you join us over there. You look in the files section. The files section has so much learning in it that people have um, added to. So I know Faye's um, cuff tutorial is in there too. Mm -hmm. But really beautiful. Um, I love kind of the sculptural quality that this cuff has. And she changes, you know, you can see how she changes the beads. And mm -hmm. there's like a little in the story, a little bit of meaning to mm -hmm. how it comes to be and the mermaid and beautiful color just palette. the way she puts it all together. Mm -hmm. But she is a, this expertise is in these cuffs. And she does a really, really yeah, good job. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. yeah, my cuffs are not <laughs> quite as... No. For some reason, I don't have a lot of patience with the cuffs. Yes. I don't do it all well with those. Yes. They're beautiful. Um, autumn dew drops. Here we, Here we go. go. Here it is. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Is I think this is the peyote stitch, but it's peyote stitch going the short route, not the long route. And it looks like when Danielle starts the row down I don't here. I think it's going this way. Is it? Maybe it is. I think it is. Look at their turn oh, on their side. Oh, you're right. I can't see. I think this is the one. I can't she, see it. She might be the talking long one. About. Yep. Mm -hmm. I so lied to you so it goes across so it looks like this first one um this could be the first row or the last let row. us know daniel yeah <laughs> yeah it's great i think this would be a fun one to do and it looks mm -hmm. like it's based on 
uh, the Van Gogh painting Harvest. These are good. Yeah, she used I the love. Harvest mix. Harvest time. And our Harvest time, that was an mm-hmm. older mix. An and older. then she used the Van Gogh mix that it was a gift. Oh, I did a gift. That's did right, a I did. Mix. Yeah, and yeah. that's another reason you guys, you need to sign up for the newsletters because mm-hmm. sometimes I do little giveaway one off mixes that and I that's just feel what's like in doing. There. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. I did do that. That generated that beautiful that was cl- design. That was clever of me. Yes. That was terribly clever. So she just mixed the two and it came out it great. It came out, yeah. It was yeah. really nice. And then her wonderful little yeah, those earrings. earrings that she yeah. does so nicely. Yep, around that leafy loop. It looks great. Yeah. And again, letting the thread be part of the pattern mm-hmm. of those earrings. It looks good. And just dangling a charm. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I love that one. And she's sharing out. Oh, she is sharing a new pattern lengthwise peyote dragonflies and she is saying it's lengthwise perfect i'm gonna have to do a lengthwise then one that's on what on has a, to be done it <laughs> has to be done we has must do done. it we're she getting through we're getting it. close yeah. you yeah, guys we're almost there. We're almost there. i mean not, you know whatever if you're getting bored yeah. already <laughs> i think everybody everybody thinks having a pretty good pretty good time yeah, with this we've I got some we good are. inspiration yes. here the um uh imagine I love this, and I also didn't realize Faye used the ring. Yes. If you don't know the ring, I we love call that ring. abiding. Um, it's a good one. I was looking it is at. A good one. I was doing some inventory and counting some things, and I stumbled across the abiding loop. I'm like, oh, we have not. I forget about. Them. I forget about it. Yeah, I love it. Yep. I do. And I love that. So, and I just want to read this out. Um, In keeping with the daydreaming theme of this lookbook, I created a United Nations necklace that symbolizes for me unity among others, a global connection of harmony, a celebration of colors. I could not agree more. Faye. It's a great, it's a great um, direction for this piece. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It's really cool. Really, really good. Imagine a world of unity, a daydream worth manifesting. Perfect. Beautifully stated, Faye. I love it. Good job. Another, Another beautiful cup yes. that she did. And, and this is from button from her stash. It's from right? her stash. Beautiful. And, I mean, look at that. It's a gorgeous, um, that's why she calls it woman reading in the garden. Yeah. Um, who wouldn't want to sit out in a beautiful garden right. reading? <laughs> I'm right. Let's go <laughs> now. Find some time for <laughs> right. that. Let's do it. <laughs> Be nice. Let's do it. Yeah. So again, another beautiful cuff. And this one has so many varieties that I did a detail shot of mm-hmm. it because the way she used, you know, shadows mm-hmm. and um, star cuts. Yeah, the star cuts are beautiful. Which people don't usually use mm-hmm. in, a, in a cuff. Um, they add a lot of texture. So this really gives you an idea to show you you can use all kinds of beads. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. And I really love how you used Faye, the metallic pyrite mm-hmm. um, leather. I don't use it as often as I should because it is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful one. Again, we're counting everything, getting things kind of cleaned out from 2019. We had a few leathers on the chopping block, but pyrite was no, not. No, no chop. Again, <laughs> Janice was like, I'm laying down my life for the pyrite. Don't worry, Janice. <laughs> Got to yeah. keep that Got to keep that one. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's very effective it's in a beautiful this cup. Cup. And yeah. there's lots of it in this too. Mm-hmm. So It really yes. adds so much. It's great. I love this. Now, my, I think, the thing that I think I love about this is it feels really fresh, this color mix, right? Yes. And icy, though. Icy. <laughs> my nine-year-old niece, Leah, who is a huge Frozen fan, mm, she yes. would totally wear this. Leah would be all, into Katie, I want this piece. This color is perfect. Or my... Teenage nieces would be all, Auntie Katie, give me that piece. Yep. Or me, I would say, Kate, wear that. I yeah. love the colors. I do, it's too. It's really, really great. And I, I love how she just took it from a, the photo of a glacier yeah. and, you know, softened it up with yeah. the, uh, the pink tones. Yeah. And that glacier, you know, if you've ever been on a cruise to see the glaciers, which I haven't, someday I will. I either. But that ice, that magical color yeah it's just, just i can't wow. and that's how she it's for her alaskan cruise the mm-hmm. um really uh 
Oh gosh. That's where she got the yeah, inspiration, the inspiration. For it. And, and again, using lots of varieties throughout the wrap. Mm -hmm. And then taking the wrap to another length by adding different, you know, strands. And, yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, different types of beads and then coming back into yeah. the leather. You it's know, really just gorgeous. Back and forth. Kim says she just commented her mother in law has already claimed this piece. Oh. Good to know. <laughs> it's Good already job. spoken for. Yes. And then she used that wonderful button too. I love, that. love that yeah, button. I like that but I like the shape mm -hmm. of that button. And the briolettes are icy. Yeah. Beautiful. And she wow. used which brio did she use? I'm gonna see. Aqua quartz. Oh, aqua quartz. Really yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. As you can see, there's lots of ingredients in yeah. these. Yeah, <laughs> all, oh, lots of links. And we, we made a mistake of adding way too many ingredients. Well, <laughs> but that was, it's a visual it, feast. Yeah, for make sure. It, make sure you don't miss I anything. love that Faye busted out the wire, and I love that she busted out the wire and this, is this beautiful. join hands chain. Yes. Really a great one for the charms. And you can see right here in the detail shot, where Faye did the spirals at the end Wonderful. and came up and over and did the wire wraps. Um, really beautiful. And so pearl twirl with the Yeah, I thought that was galaxy. fun. Really cool. you know, fun just to, that's what we tried to make this eye yeah. candy the whole page. Yeah, you know? it was gorgeous. <laughs> now this one, uh, when I saw this, it gave me some inspiration mm. um, for next week's Beat Shop yes. Live. I am on Wednesday, next Wednesday, I'm going to treat it like a free tip Friday because Brittany's coming on Friday and we'll kind of treat that as the more formal broadcast. Next Wednesday, I am getting out wire, cutters, bench block, and hammer. Indeed. And we are making wire, wire, components oh, so it's gonna be great I'm gonna share share these I'm gonna twirls. share these uh, the spirals which yeah. is one of my favorite like, things that to is make so pretty yeah they're real pretty really adds to it a lot so <laughs> my mom says Kate your mom would wear it too that's oh, funny we all that's would <laughs> really, we yeah. all would yeah it's love great. that one so. yeah it's beautiful beautifully done okay so. okay so here's the bonus section and I love so talk about the bonus section. What well, were you thinking? Okay, well, the, the thing I was thinking was, oh, no, we're not going to have enough pieces. Right, of course. Of course. So That's what you were thinking. Exactly. As I came up with, oh, we have to do something else because, you know, we just may not have enough. So I thought, well, um, there was just going to be the three of us making the extras. So we came up with Trails In because it's very adaptable to all kinds of Right, all kinds of textures, right. beads, whatever you want. And so we just left, went loose with it and said, um, make sure it's something that is meaningful to you. Right. And so that's what we did. And there it is. <laughs> and so you have to start with um, who's up first? Danielle. Danielle is up first. And hers was absolutely gorgeous because she sent me all these photos and so I did get to see her wedding. <laughs> Isn't that so, look at how cute And I that had is. to pick from all the photos and I couldn't pick. There were so right. many b gorgeous photos look that she had. That. Isn't that yeah, adorable? Color palette. And her color palette, uh, it was in a vineyard, Columbia. Um, Columbia vineyard. Vineyards, yeah. yeah. And so um, her color palette was just yummy. And it was all her flowers were set to that um, so she made um, a trails end yeah. that was a memory of her wedding it's great and the trails end if you're not familiar with the trails and project it's a project that Janice pulled up uh, or created it was a couple of years ago and we've really oh, played around it. with it we mm -hmm. just love it um, and so um, Essentially, it's a strung piece, strung section, and some kind of laddered or, or just leather, leather or something mm -hmm. here, and then kind of with that loop closure. Right. So it's a really great, um, it's a really great interpretation. Right. Um, yeah. This is almost yeah a perfect 
depiction of the trail's end. Yeah. Um, but she did add the laddering. I think Janice's do, does not mm-hmm. have the laddering. So, no, but um, it's really... And then added some, you know, charms mm-hmm. and, and happy memories. I mean, obviously, it's her wedding. Right. Um, it's going to be very meaningful. Right. So, yeah, just, I fell in love with this one, like, right away. I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. Right. And we did have, I did, the one of the reasons for our wire play day next week and Cecilia, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I have not gotten back to you yet. Um, but she's asked me a couple of things about wire, some ear wire things. So I'm going to play around with those two. So, um, so Cecilia, you help to spurn on my choice uh, next week. So right. I will send you an email as a reminder. So. Okay. And then next up, we have Kim. Kim, I love this piece. I... But, Probably because I love I love this photo it's from Phoenix right you're sitting out by the pool yes what I want to do cause my whole life is working towards sitting out by the putting pool putting your feet up putting my feet by up, the pool right? that's right drinks, drinks on the side right <laughs> I've got wine in one hand beads on the in the that's other that's right you're beating and my and feet and... up on a hassock yeah so uh, so I can totally relate. I love here, this shows kind of the classic, classic trail end right. with that leather loop and mm-hmm. then the um, the silk wrapping. Yes. But I yeah. love this color palette. And it's gorgeous color yeah. palette that she used, um, yeah, from her photo. Mm-hmm. Um, she's able to go, you know, she lives in kind of a cold zone in the winter, so mm-hmm. she's able to go and warm up. I love it. And um, and use spindle beads yeah. and all sorts of good things. It's so luscious. But that is the, the typical trails mm-hmm. end um, wrap. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love absolutely that. love that one. But and so then my guess is Faye's next. Here comes Faye. Bead soup trail. And again, Faye was, Faye was you know, in a tumultuous <laughs> way of life at the time. And, and this spoke to her story Mm -hmm. it it really meant a lot um how she goes down a trail and Mm -hmm. she describes that and i love it with the padres so this is janice also had one that didn't have the leather Mm -hmm. and so this is more of that that simpler bracelet Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. now these hematite we're trying to get these back in these hematite padres have not been available for a while but you could substitute six odd seed beads for yeah. sure. You could use any for type that one, of, yeah, yeah, or yeah. any of the popcorn padres. The other popcorn for that one, of, yeah. yeah, or yeah. any of the popcorn padres. The other padres would work mm-hmm, too. Would work. It's just gorgeous, and I love, um, I I love the yeah. These are little tides, tides out. These guys here, the yes. leather closure, very but, tribal, yeah, tribal, uh, tribal and trade mm-hmm. um, kind of feel to this one, mm-hmm. and. It did have, you know, had some meaning for Faye, so yeah, we beautiful. love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I love her photo. I love it, Faye. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All of the, the photos are great. And then last but not least. There it is. We come to. And we have this one. So talk, I love Maury Point. So this is funny. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to scoot it up so okay. people can see that Maury Point photo. So uh, my family, both sides of my family, my mo- mom's side and my dad's side, are, they're from way back when they are Italian immigrants that came over on the boat. I bet our families came over at the same Probably time. Probably did, yeah. 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 So um, both sides were very instrumental yes. in um, My Italian building family. the peninsula yeah. here. Yeah. They are. Um, they just kind of loved it here and settled in and never looked back. Yeah. Um, so... This is sort of a, a funny story. This is an offshoot from my family, not my immediate family. But when I was little, we used to take monthly trips to the San Francisco Zoo. And we'd go right, from right Santa there. Cruz up oh, to San up, Francisco. Up Highway 1. And wow. I saw this, well, it wasn't this particular mm-hmm. sign, but it was a little wooden sign that said Maury Point. And I kept asking my dad, why can't we go see Maury Point? You know, it's like... And he said, no, it's private, we can't. And, and then he kept saying, well, ask your Nona, your grandma. And so one day I did, and she just got all belligerent and <laughs> upset. We did have the same grandma, great grand, yeah, great grandma. Yeah, she we don't associate with those mornings. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. Um, and she just point blank told me they were bootleggers. And oh. we just didn't, you know. So what happened was um, this this arm of the family came and purchased this land. Um, it's near Pacifica. Oh right. And the the dad 
was a Brussels sprouts and artichoke farmer. Oh. So he was legitimate. But after he left, his sons took over. There was and, a little... Uh, yeah. And they built the Maury Point Inn, which oh, was, yeah. you know, pretty risque and had a lot going on yeah. there. And uh, yeah. and they used to run, uh, run rum to the Canadian ships moored off the oh. coast. Well, do you know... So you may be familiar with the Sam's Castle in Pacifica. The house on the, the yeah the crazy house on the it's hill crazy <laughs> yeah you you guys will have to Google what we're talking about yeah but it I did a tour I toured uh, that place it's crazy yeah, and they talked a little bit about um like the the, the area the area and the bootleg uh, well, they rum actually, runners yeah they had a pier that actually went out and had mm-hmm. a series of pulleys and it was really intricate in order to get. The rum. Right, so that was yes. then in the, yes. in in the 20s, late teens, early 20s, 20s right? Yeah. Right. I right. love it. I so, love anyway, it. it's very colorful past. There's a little story. But it is also, if anybody remembers the 1971, it's a very old movie, Harold and Maude. Yes. Harold drove the car off the cliff, and that is at Maury Point. Oh, wow. So, it's kind of a historical. I point. love it. Well, you have this piece. Let's bring this piece in because this really shows the, and I'm going to move this to the side so we can really look at the piece. Look at that ombre, you guys. Just come on. Well, look at the photo. I guess right. you kind of have to look at the photo. Right. I'll put that I'll right just, there. I'll just, maybe I can stick it yeah, on the side on there. The side. Looks good. That bit. Yeah. It's hard to see. but um, So what I did was I started in the photo with down in the corner with the greens and the yellows mm-hmm. and just started coming around and I got into the cliff where the browns are and then the blues and then into the purple and the you just know the beautiful. oranges yeah and just kind of went around the photo mm-hmm. and then was able to do that ombre mm-hmm. I just love it and this shows how the thread <clears throat> can be an integral part mm-hmm. of the design see how Allie did each of these and I can hold it up so you guys can see it how each of these sections are in different colors of the regular regular sea lawn, mm-hmm. I think? Probably, yeah, most right. likely it looks mm-hmm. regular. Mm-hmm. And that's where you started and stopped? Yeah. Right there, so yeah. one color stops, the yeah, other color Yeah, so it's easy begins. to add thread all the yeah. time, constantly back yeah. and forth. That trails in, cl- and lo- oh, you're kidding. Look at that little... It's the detail. I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna hold it up. So I think the button, yeah, right. if, if it's flapped over okay, correctly. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Look at that. That little so details, you know, add in a little. That's so precious, or as my friend Jess would say, that's so tender. <laughs> that's a good. I one. Like it. It's really. So good. anyway, that that's my memory. Oh, it's great. <laughs> well, I love, and so a lot of people have been asking or saying, "Oh my gosh, where do I start in a lookbook like this? <laughs> what do you have any advice?" Can well, you make something up off the cuff? <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know, I think you can start anywhere, and I think you can take, now this might be too complicated for someone, but mm-hmm. you could take a section right from something. And, and just make. Yeah, and we give, you know, you can go to the Trails End Project, um, and that will lead you to other skills mm-hmm. if you follow that. Mm-hmm. So you can learn, you know, the laddering mm-hmm. or, or, you know, this part mm-hmm. of the leather. I mean, I, I just think you can take sections. You could even just piece, make right, this that part of the bracelet portion, and just yeah. do stringing. And I would say, you guys, just, I would open the lookbook and just choose a page that speaks to you. And then, as you say, Allie, y- you don't even have to make this whole thing. No. Focus on something that you like, or each of these pages has a photo. Use that photo to pull your own palette and then translate it into a piece that you like. I would also say if you have memory wire in your stash, yes. just jump in, throw a bead palette together and string it on that memory wire. Yeah, that's a good one to start you is know? memory wire. Um, because you just have to string yeah, the beads. You yeah. don't have to ladder, you yeah. don't have to stitch. <clears throat> and any of them, you know, like the lariats mm-hmm. would be simple projects for mm-hmm. stringing, um, that type of thing. Um, mm-hmm. I just say, you know, just go for just it. Just go for it. And and this will lead you, if you go to the additional learning like mm-hmm. this one, 
Um, it says how to letter, how to macrame, uh, the mm -hmm. color study mm -hmm. project. It'll take you on a journey. Yeah, you know, which is great. To the whole thing. Now you have a few more projects that you brought, and we have a few. You know, we like, like to throw go them long. in there. We like think? to go long because Allie's here. So um, I, let's look at those bracelets. Well, they now, got a you, lot of love. So. You blew up the bead table <laughs> and every. I just loved it. So these got a lot of love, so I thought maybe they'd what, like what to we see. Call the, what was the name of this one? Oh, I'm trying gosh. to, I'm, I'm going to click you know, it over here. I I'm have so to, many, I don't remember. I'm going to go to projects. <laughs> I'm going to go to bracelets. I'm going to click on bracelets. And it's the Nomad. It's the Nomad yes, bracelet. Yes, it's Nomad because that water garden mm -hmm. started, Karen started, mm -hmm. and then we took adaptation mm -hmm. off of it. And so we, uh, that was your water garden piece right. was the one that you did, and then Koi Pond, I did. Yes, Brittany came and you, the mm -hmm. two of you were working on We're working on that. And then uh, one of our bead table right, Linda. members, Linda, uh, did the, did the Cape Mist yes. one. Yeah, yes. Linda Wade mm -hmm. did that one, which was gorgeous. What happened was, and the reason why, I'm not in the... Yeah, there you um, go. I did this one is the um, drops were out of stock. Oh. And everyone was screaming, where's the drops? Right? They're all sold out. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to grab so, this. So, yeah. Right so, I thought, you know, you can do this without drops. So, you Why use not? the 6 aught and yeah. a... A tiny little 11. 11 aught for the closure. For the turnaround, you know. Sorry, you guys. To, my hands just look a mess. I'm sorry. I've been working... But anyway, so if you don't have drops, you can still make it. And, yeah. you know, it it will gives it you the same, beautiful. you know, feel. And then again, if you don't have the um, English cuts, mm -hmm. what about a pearl? Yeah. You can use a pearl. Beautiful. So, you know, they're, they're so adaptable. Completely. To all kinds of materials you can use. And Both of these look super magical. Just has a fun, you know, what the, mo moon, yeah, I think the I call this moon garden. Yeah, it's beautiful. So anyway, those were fun. I, I love, love those. Um, what else did you, you brought the super, oh, again, that super duo piece. Well, this I th thought blowing was, up the, yeah, I thought this one was a fun piece. Blowing up the bead table. I love it. I'm going to get a little tighter in there so you can actually leave it on the, the straight and a little bit. There we go. So that is the, you the know, super you did the earring. super, mm -hmm. yeah, the earring, uh, and I just laddered it into the earring. Yeah, mm -hmm. so what you did was you laid out, you connected, so you did this section. Well, actually, I started <coughs> here. I took a piece of leather, and I folded it in half mm -hmm. down here, strung the charm through. I see. Added uh, the roller, roller bead. bead. And then just started laddering. Got right, and so went out, and then went in. And you can do that. Very if you smart. have a macrame board, mm -hmm. so you can stretch your leather out with those slots to give you right, the right to give you that angles, triangle, and that helps it mm -hmm. align it to, to get that in That's there. That's so clever. So it's just that earring, and it's laddered in, and then again, another roller bead. Uh -huh. And and then another roller bead. I took them. I crossed them over. Uh -huh. And the le there's leather underneath. So the leather so it just is just crosses under, and you macrame over the and top. And then you just do the macrame. Yeah. And then you can close it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy closure. You mm -hmm. just and yes, Sharon, we do. And some of the drops should be back in stock, but more drops are coming for sure. <laughs> Don't worry. We did. We tackled some of the drops, so we know. Uh, we'll be grabbing, they'll be coming in. Always put yourself on the notification list for all of those guys. We love the drops so much, and hopefully some new colors of drops will be coming in soon, too. Um, we just love them. I love the way how your loop is here, loop, 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 back through, mm -hmm. and you just tie it a little. Just tie it off. A little Decorate piece it a little bit, and mm -hmm. you're good to go. You know, yeah. you can make it very simple. Yeah, I love it. I yeah. love this. I'm going to fun pendant. Yeah. You know, if I, I'm not one at, good at making one earring and then making the second one. Mm -hmm. You know how you say it's I do, the second, sock, the second sock So syndrome. make a pendant and yeah. then you're good to and go. And then you're done. And you can move on. Right, you can. <laughs> and this, um, so this was the one I, the, the, I'll tell you the, 
project for it. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called. It was called, I did it uh, right before Christmas. It's just called Super Duo Earrings. It's on our website, under projects, under earrings. You'll see it in the number one position, Super Duo Earrings. So instead of stitching it like I did, um, Allie just laddered, laddered it, it mm -hmm. with the Super Duos. Mm -hmm. And That's it right. actually it covers, you know, how you have that thread part on the on the side. side. Mm -hmm. It it just makes it look, you know, laddered, so right. you don't have to worry about that. Really clever. Yeah. So that worked out <clears> really well. Now you have a magnum opus. Is there something else before you want to show no, that magnum opus? No, we can do, it, do whatever okay. you want. If I don't you know. We want to do this. Okay. Allie brought her piece, her Ming. So this <clears> got <throat> a lot of love too. So I kind of wanted it up close and personal here. Um, this by far was the most spectacular kit I've had. I am so <laughs> glad you liked it. This is our Ming um, curated box that Janice put together. I had found these lapis discs <clears throat> then I tossed it all over to Janice. See the yeah, the back. the back. It's so yeah. nice. And um, we still have a few left. Yes, and I may have to go home with a second yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. They're so wonderful. Um, the the quality of the pearls and the materials are just... Now this, I yeah. thought, and Janice, I, I want you to, to see this. Look at that precious section right there. This would make a really good, if you isolate this, this would make yeah. a really good earring. Yeah, it would with make some a tassels great earring. Coming down. You know, with pearls, you can only put one strand through, mm -hmm. so you kind of have to get kind of tricky if you want to have mm -hmm. a bunch of them or you know you have mm -hmm. to be able to put all the strands through. And again you like made those tassel beads coming yeah. out and putting those together. Very clever. Mine I think it's covered over there but it's still I'm almost done. Almost finished. I'm almost. Yeah, because you should have been stringing. You're stringing on it. Strung one yeah. too. Like <laughs> and a, this is from your stash, a piece from uh, our yeah, dear friend dear Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia Thornton. makes mm -hmm. the best bronze pieces. So, yeah. Um, that came from her, and I just thought it, you know, needed a little bit yeah. of pizzazz. A little pizzazz. That's so great. That one was fun. And I love the thread color that you chose. Can you guys see? This is what is this? Celadon, maybe? Or um, oh, 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 I don't know. No, I use CKC, and it's willow. CKC. It is. Because it's point four Chinese. I wanted cord. the sheen to go with the pearls. That's what that is. I tried. Yes. Um, I tried the Ceylon, and it just looked too dull. Yes, it looks great. So the CKC worked really well. Oh, it's pearls. good. And yeah. then take a look at the center. You can see in the back. Beautifully done. And I love how these come over the top. Yeah, it's just fun, you know, it's using gorgeous. all the materials. So I just want to, one more shout out yeah. because it's an interesting, I don't know, did you want to do the pattern? Oh, no, start? let's do your, okay. no, yeah, please. I so, didn't, I forgot. That a while back, that. you had the trunk show. We did, sale. we did. So I just wanted to show, show everyone because I didn't um, post, I have this on Instagram, but I don't have this on the B table, but I wanted to show everybody the gorgeous. Um, dragon. Yeah, that was pendant. one of those pieces. We're planning another one. If you have not, if you didn't get to, Brittany and I did the, a broadcast for the Dakota Stones Trunk Show. Um, we're planning another one, maybe for April, I'm thinking. I'm just getting, there we go. Yeah, it's mine. Maybe April-ish, oh, I think. Yeah. So stay tuned to your newsletters because we have another. Yeah, the, the um, fluorine mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this one was really fun. Yeah, this matte fluorite. Or fluorite, fluorite yeah. yeah. And again, this is on Ceylon. This one's on Ceylon, and this one might be Ceylon. Ceylon, yeah. yeah. It's probably on And one of my favorite buttons, the spirits. I love, that one I love spirits. Yeah, it seemed to go with mm -hmm. the, um, Look, the magic yeah. dragon. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so that was fun. I had to just yeah, that. beautiful. Well, I'm going to click back to us right here. And we're exhausted. <laughs> we are, are, aren't we, though? <laughs> we oh, my out. gosh. We did. You did. We. This is all you. You. You did it, too. You guys, the design team, you guys were incredible. We had fun. We did. Yeah. I had. I'm we just, had our trials, yeah. but we had fun. <laughs> no, I feel gobsmacked. It was amazing. It's beautiful. So I wanted to remind you guys. I'm going to click over here onto this photo. If you have not downloaded the lookbook yet, 
you can go right to beadshop.com, go to, you can see how I have it here, <clears throat> go to projects, scroll down, go to lookbook collection, click on lookbook collection, and you will see, um, you'll see uh, all of the lookbooks that are available. Oh, and Chance is asking me, you know what, I've been wearing oh, this. Yeah. <clears throat> all show as a teaser and I mm -hmm. kind of forgot I was wearing it so let me take it off if I can get it off of my wrist hang on a second it just wants to stay on me well that's a good thing uh, right <laughs> so Brittany is coming so I mentioned that next week and next week today is the 22nd of January Wednesday January 22nd next Wednesday January 29th I will be doing a wire play day on Bead Shop Live. And then Brittany is coming on Friday, the 30 the 31st. Yes. And she has a kit that we are playing with. It's my Roaring Twenties kit. So what I did was I pulled I created the kit and then I handed it mm -hmm. to Brittany to make the project. <clears throat> so so it's kind of a, a, a best of both worlds. It's so great. check out the beautiful macrame work. That's the back. Mm -hmm. And we're including this amazing clasp. More info on that will be in your newsletters next week. We've got a limited number of those, but it's a really, it's a really, really fun one. So uh, Brittany's going to share, um, and I'm going to, I'm going to try and get and pull it together. Maybe I can do my take on this too. We'll see. Oh, and Allie, do show that. I did promise that you guys could see this. I want to show Allie's tassel there too. This is another piece from Cynthia, right? Yes. That yes. her bronze uh, butterfly. Luna Moth. Luna Moth. Yeah. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Take a look at Allie's um, tassel there. Remember how we were talking about Faye's tassel, how she did it in loops? Allie used the bead cap that we have. I think it's called Capped Off mm -hmm. there. And she, the bottom of her tassels are all looped. Really beautiful. Yeah, actually, it was an accident. I was, you know, going to make the cut one, and after I got it in there and glued it all in and made sure it was in there well, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I think I'm going to leave it. Yeah, <laughs> it looks really nice. And these are also oh, the, these were the trunk the sunstone, oh, the sunstone from the trunk shell. Oh my gosh! And then the uh, large hole, large pearls. hole pearls, oh. and this charming little berry button. Oh, love that too. I love it too. Yeah. I just restocked some yesterday. Oh good. The good. tiger eye one is kind of yeah. is kind of my favorite. Right yeah, now. no, those are those are really nice for long necklaces. Mm -hmm. um, They're really good. Yeah. And chunk show. Don't miss those. Yeah. <laughs> and so we will come back and say Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, epic. <laughs> Incredible. Uh we're having we're cooking up some ideas. Uh this afternoon Ellie and I are playing around with some ideas. Um, another big, big, big thank you to our wonderful bead shop design team. Uh, you are so welcome. Well, it's our pleasure. I, I know that I speak for the team. Well, thank you. Team. It's really, really great. And as always, you guys, uh, you can find, you can go to beadshop.com for information on the proje project and the products from this broadcast. You can go on and download the lookbook. And remember, sign up for our newsletters. Uh, you'll get the latest discounts, giveaways, and new products, including that kit that Brittany and mm -hmm. I are um, launching next week. Again, we really appreciate you watching. Thank you, thank you. And Allie, thank you. Thank you. And <laughs> we'll peek in, and I'll say, I'll see you next week. Or I'll see you Friday uh, and next week next with week. 